Welcome back to Mason Talks. So today I want to talk about what will occur if the Cleveland Browns beat the Houston Texans coming up week two in their home opener. I also want to later talk about what if the Browns lose to Houston. But first, let's talk about the significantly more realistic scenario. What if the Browns win? And first and foremost, obviously, they'd be one and one and they'd be right back on track. Now, the loss to Kansas City was devastating in the way that it occurred. I was not so much upset that they lost to Kansas City because I was expecting that. I was expecting us to lose to the Chiefs because they're the, you know, freaking Kansas City Chiefs. I was sad that we blew a gigantic it wasn't gigantic that we blew a lead right in the end with you know travesties of turnovers by uh three players but 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 overall in the grand scheme of things i expected to be 0 and 1 going into this this game and and coming into it you're going up against a Houston Texans team that in the standings is better than you because they're 1 and 0 their one win was against urban myers uh, Jaguars. But if you win here, you'd be one and one. You'd be right back on track, right where you were to start the season last year. And I think that this game, if the Browns win, will act as a sort of launching pad for the rest of the season. And and this is something important that I want to get to. There's, there's two ways that the Browns could win this game. Um, and this is something we saw last year. The Browns are either going to keep it close for some reason or or completely obliterate and embarrass the Texans uh, in the first half and then just kind of run that lead out with Chubb and Hunt in the second half. And I think a great way to get back on your feet after losing to the Chiefs would be to just completely smoke the Kansas City Chiefs. Just obliterate them, make them look like a team coached by, you know, Dave Culley and quarterbacked by... Tarod Taylor. Make them look terrible. Make them look like the worst team in the National Football League. That'd be a great way to bounce back. And if the Browns were to do that, I think we would see it based on Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt heavily, which is what we saw against the Chiefs. The Browns were able to to really get their offense kick-started with the run game. And I think we'd obviously see Baker Mayfield take even more of a significant role in, in this win because the Texans' defense isn't that great. So, so if the Browns win in dramatic, you know, de- demolishing fashion, I think that would make a lot of people feel more comfortable. If the Browns were to win in a close game, like a touchdown, one touchdown game that you actually have to pay attention in the fourth quarter, I think a lot of people would be frightened, especially myself. Because if the Browns can't completely obliterate the Texans, it's not because of their offense, it's because of their defense. And let's be honest, the linebackers didn't look great last week, and now Anthony Walker's out for at least three weeks. He was put on the injured reserve. So if the Texans are able to keep it close because you don't have any linebackers and your defense isn't fully gelled together and your defense just lost their play caller in Anthony Walker, that would not be a good look. And that would be very concerning going into the rest of the season when you play some, some, you know, better teams than the Houston Texans. So I think that if the Browns win this game, it can either be a launching pad or something that we have to worry about for another seven days before they take on the Bears. I also think if the Browns win this game, it will be a testament to their offensive line and coach Bill Callahan because I have a terrible feeling that the starting left tackle for the Cleveland Browns in this game is going to be James Hudson. And that's not good. I mean, that's really bad. That I, 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 I was thinking back to our, our starting offensive line from 2019 and... I quite frankly have no idea. I can't remember at all who started at left tackle because he was he was terrible. But Jedrick Wills has been good. Chris Hubbard is a good backup. 
But when you start going to third string tackles, especially third string tackles who are rookies who've never really played in the National Football League, that could be bad. And, it, you know, for a Cleveland Browns team that relies heavily on their offensive line, both in the passing game and in the run game, if you have one super weak link, everybody else is going to suffer because of that. Um, And we know the Texans are going to be paying attention to that, whoever the Browns start at left tackle. I mean, we don't know that... Jedrick Wills, and I think Chris Hubbard is out. I think he's officially out, but we don't know about Jedrick Wills. He still could pull through and play. I I highly doubt it. I think we're going to have a third stringer, potentially James Hudson, starting at left tackle. The Texans are going to know that. They're going to plan for that, and that could be a weakness for the Browns that gets exposed. And if that were to happen, I think it could potentially threaten your ability to win that game just because we've seen the Browns get thrown off badly when their offensive line isn't able to protect Baker or when they're not able to open up holes properly for Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb. So if they win convincingly in big time fashion, it'll be a testament to that offensive line's depth because we've talked about it all offseason. We have talked about how the Cleveland Browns have like three offensive lines that that could be starter caliber offensive lines on their team. They just we have a lot of offensive line depth and that's a good thing, but it's going to be put to the test against the Houston Texans Sunday. Um, yeah, so that's, if the Browns win, I think it could kind of rocket you into like a six, seven game win streak. Um, now if the Browns were to lose this game and start the season 0-2 with a sad loss to the Chiefs and then what would inevitably, inevitably be an embarrassing loss to the Texans, um, things wouldn't look good. And that, that's why week two is always a little bit stressful for Browns fans um, because we never win in week one, haven't won in week one since 2004. And then really the basis for the rest of your season kind of lies in, in week two. Um, so I hope they go out and destroy the Texans. I mean, really, that's how I look at this. Like if, if this is a close game, I'm going to be disappointed. The Browns are like, what, 11 point favorites going into this. I mean, we should be set up to slaughter them. I mean, they've got Tarod Taylor as their starting quarterback. And, you know, nothing... Again, I don't have anything against Tyrod Taylor, or Tyrod, however it's pronounced. Um, But he's not that good. He's never been that good. Um, He wasn't that good when he was with the Browns, let's be honest. And you should be able to beat him. You should be able to beat him. The defense needs to step up better. I hope we see Miles Garrett and everybody step up better. But yeah, that is what will happen if the Browns win this game. If the Browns beat the Texans thoroughly... It will set them up for another playoff run. Um, so this is an important game. You just have to go out and, and do what you can do, which is clobber them, destroy the Texans. Um, but let me know in the comments, what do you think will happen if the Browns win this game convincingly? Or what do you think will happen if the Browns lose this game? Will it completely derail their season? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.